Hi, uh, in this video we are going to use different commands like sketch a picture, uh, commands from sheet metal menu, uh, we are going to speak uh, for band addiction and many more commands and uh, the end result uh, will be a beautiful design grill. The first thing uh, we are going to draw one uh, part, so new part. and start to sketch on front plane. Now we are going to create one uh, midpoint line. Use center line. Mirror entities. Then we are going to add some dimension, 100 and this side and uh, 125 uh, degrees. And uh, the, we are going to use two directions here, 200 one direction, 200 the other direction. We are going to check the, the side for the base flange. So we are going to use reverse direction now. We need two millimeters, one millimeter radius is okay. And here we are going to use 3.1 millimeter bend dediction. Click OK. We are going to check if the part can be flattened. The next thing that we are going to do is uh, to sketch on this surface here. We are going to go normal on this surface, normal view. We are going to use uh, slot commands and draw two slots. Then here we need uh, 40. We're going to move this. And here we need 15. Then radius 4, equal these two commands. And here we need 10 millimeters. We're going to use, make these two lines equal. Then from here to this midpoint is 20, 35, and we are going to use linear sketch pattern, 6 time, I will write now 60, but we are going to change that, we are going to add one dimension here, 40. And futures extrude cut to cut the, the body that we are, have created before. Now uh, select right plane and cut extrude one. Click mirror in future menu, and we have now two sides with small uh, holes. I will save this uh, document. I will name it the bottom. This will be our bottom part from the grill. Then I will uh, sketch on this surface. I will use, make one to rectangle for now. Center line. Then I will make these two lines symmetric with this center line. I will create one more center line. And select everything, mirror. Use mirror about this center line here and click OK. Go in future mini extrude cut 12 millimeters, click OK. Again, front plane and cut extrude 2, mirror, 
or you need that on the other side click OK and again we are going to sketch on this surface here I will create few lines and few circles just follow me center line I will make mirror now then we need uh, this circle and uh, not not point uh, this circle and uh, this line tangent I will use a uh, line now here to close the, the circle to close the sketch and we need here 53 next thing is here radius 5 but we need 3 we'll change it later Twenty five and here is seven millimeters. Select everything that we sketched, and here we need four equal parts. I will make now nineteen, but I will add dimension here. It will be equal with the other side fifty three and extrude cut 12 millimeters blind is okay now I will select uh, this extrude cut and uh, right plane mirror and click OK now we have the both sides uh, equal we are going to use uh, extrude cut one more time start sketch on this surface here we are going to sketch one uh, rectangle make center line make these uh, three lines symmetric then we will add a dimension 25 here we need 2.2 millimeters and from this line to this line 2 millimeters future extrude cut now we are going to sketch on this surface here we are going again one rectangle this line here is equal with uh, this line or maybe we'll make just one dimension 2.2 and 25 and uh, from here to here we need two millimeters we'll use one center line and we are going to make symmetric now future extruded cut blind 12 is okay and uh, and we are going to select extruded cut mirror again we're going to use uh, right plane and one more time we need to select this three futures and mirror and we are going to use front plane click ok now we are going to use fillet 5 millimeters we are going to select uh, these uh, edges here
and the last but not least click OK save the document always control plus S is to save the document and create a new part I will save this part also we will name it top I will sketch now on front plane gain midpoint line use mirror entities 220 240 from here to here we need 145 degree and again base flange same size 187 we'll use k factor 0.3 reverse direction 2 millimeters radius will be 1 millimeters and yeah on this plate uh, we are going to make our uh, grill we are going to grilling here I will create now one center lane then we need a rectangle 23 millimeters 70 and here is also 12 no 10 millimeters we are going to use mirror entities I won't uh, draw everything again 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 I will use the, the short cut and we are going to create one tab with uh, base flange and just click OK then when we are going to sketch on this surface here I will create uh, one rectangle first six millimeters forty one now I create one center line or one more rectangle one center line is better and uh, I'm going to make a mirror entities again then we are going to create one more rectangle it will be a little bit uh, longer than the the other these two cleaner and here we need uh, 66 Point six millimeters then here we need uh, 23 I will use mirror entities command again and one more rectangle symmetric and we can draw 60 6.67 or we can make uh, the lines just equal just select the boot lines and click equal extrude cut blend 10 millimeters is okay and click okay now select right plane cut extrude one and mirror the sketch mirror the future mm. I will create some fillets now, 3 millimeters. this side 
and click OK. Now we're going to sketch on this surface here. We are going to sketch a picture. If you don't have the command in a short menu, we are going to use uh, tools and sketch tools and sketch a picture. I will write here minus 19 or we can uh, change the direction of rotating. I will make this picture in the uh, middle. I will use uh, now a spell line. Create lines like this it's the fastest uh, way to create or to sketch a picture like this I would move the points Sometimes you need more time to make this. Sometimes it's easy, but it depends on how do you uh, make the points for the SP line. But you need just to follow the outside line from our sketch picture. One more time here. Just move the direction and that's it. Check everything if if, uh, if everything is close. This this line is here. Open. Uh, we're going to move and close this. Sketch. And now we are going to go in future, extrude cut, click OK, and that's it, that's it. The picture vanish, and we have a beautiful flame on our grill side, on our top part. I will create a few more things here, slot and uh, We'll add few dimension. I will add center line now. Mirror entities. I will add a few more dimension. This two will be equal. Here we need 60. I will use uh, 
linear sketch pattern and I will add two more slots twenty five and everything is equal now. Now we need uh, three times forty six times, not three. I will add dimension here forty. I'm going to make this uh, slot here for construction and uh, I'm going to go in future extrude cut ten millimeters and click OK. I will sketch on this surface again a gay slot equal I'm going to add some dimension 20 this will be 60 then I'm going to make these two points uh, horizontal and again I I'm going to use linear sketch pattern Click OK. Add just one dimension to close the, the sketch. I don't need blue lines. Now I will use one more time linear sketch pattern. Change direction four times and 40 millimeters. Click OK. I'm going to add uh, dimension between these two. Then I'm going to make one circle here. It will be tangent with this line. And uh, I'm going to use trim entities. I'm going to add a few more uh, relations. Tangent, horizontal, equal, and uh, And that's it. Extrude cut. Just click OK. The top part is done. Now we need uh, to create one more part. I'm going to sketch on front plane, right click and sketch, midpoint and uh, one uh, line, 110 millimeters. Now we're going to make the side part for the grill and uh, we're going to create center line, few lines. I'm going to use mirror entities command. Here we need 40.
here we need 250 one more time smart dimension 75 then we are going to create a few more lines now this is 200 45 62.5 and here 75 this point in middle part coincident now I will use some mirror entities Command and create one few lines more. Now I will use parallel relation here. Twelve. The other side also 12. I will use now fillet parameters 10 millimeters. Uh, select all edges and click OK. Save the document, we are going to name it side part. Click OK and exit the sketch. Go in sheet metal, base, flange tab and uh, two millimeters and click OK. The direction, we don't care for the direction. We are going to sketch on this surface again, create one rectangle here, 4 millimeters, 25, and 69. Now create one center line and use mirror entities. Future extruded cut, click OK. Let's select this edge again sketch on this surface few lines more one center line first then rectangle we we are going to add few dimension first symmetric 80 then we need here 3 millimeters 103.5 then one more rectangle just yes, we are going to use line command this uh, will be equal this two then we are going to add uh, 125 here degree and uh, few more dimension uh, this here is 88.5 and from middle part until this point is uh, 60.63 millimeters use mirror entities again and go in uh, future extruded cut click ok Create one more part now. This uh, will be the last part. Make this line also vertical. 
smart dimension 50 here we need uh, 20 go in sheet metal again K factor 0.3, 2 millimeters radius, 1 millimeter. Just check the direction. Thirteen this side, thirteen the other side, and click OK. Now I'm going to sketch on this surface here. I will make few lines. And dimension here 23. Now I need one center line. Make this point symmetric. And I will, I'm going to add a few more lines to use extrude cut. It's different kind of commands to cut this surface, but I'm going to use this type of. I'm going to save this part, it will be hook set, the name and uh, I will use fillet command 10 millimeters, select 4 edge, and just click OK, save the part, and we are going to create new assembly now. File create new assembly. Uh, we are going to select uh, all four parts in uh, Soyworks 2020. This many come automatically. When it's not uh, there, you can uh, select assembly and uh, insert component. Then I will use uh, select this surface here and this surface here, assembly mate, and I'm going to select again this surface and this surface here. Now the other side. Then I'm going to make this uh, in the middle. Made this here. Select this surface and this surface here. Coincident, click OK. And the next thing is uh, to select four more surfaces and again use made command to click OK. Now I'm going to make a hook set, coincident, I will go, going to add a few more mates here. Just two more times, this same comment. Also, we can use uh, mirror uh, component pattern, but I'm going to do this time manually.
I want to repeat the, the same process one more time then mate change direction and one more time same steps Now I'm going to use a mirror uh, component pattern. Just check what I, I've selected. Mirror component. And uh, click OK. I need to add one more thing, then I will edit this pattern, this uh, future and click OK. Everything seems fine now. I will name and create one assembly. It will be grill and save the assembly. And we can produce this assembly, this grill. For this dimension, the material thickness is just fine. Actually, I have made uh, this uh, same grill and uh, it's, uh, it is in my backyard. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. If you have questions, write me an email. And don't forget to subscribe.